One of my most popular videos is the Wanderer House video. I made this six months into YouTube, right whenever I hit a thousand subscribers, and it took off. Even though I made you guys listen to this horrible music all the way through the build and the tour. I mean, just listen to it. I don't know why I was like this. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. I just felt like it needed filler. So yeah, I just used this like pop punk. If it was, I'm not even pop punk, like alternative, whatever you want to call it, music. And this went on for like a year. So thank you guys so much for bearing with me until I, I figured out that I didn't need this filler music through everything. <laughs> but anyways, I was feeling nostalgic showing someone this video and was distracted by the music the entire time. So I decided to do the right thing and rebuild it. On top of feeling nostalgic, my buddy Strong gave me the idea to redo an old build to see how different it would be. And I didn't have a lot of time to work on a build this week, but I didn't want to go without posting a video. So I took the day off my actual job to build this up and decorate it and turn it into a mod and do a video on it. It's, it's been a busy day. So yeah, I actually made this into a mod. It's available on PC and Xbox. Sorry, PS4 users, but I'm using custom assets from Snap and Build like my previous design. I wanted to rebuild the house almost exactly like I did before, but change up the decorations a good bit. So these are the same kind of walls from Snap and Build. I just retextured them to make them look brick and also the roofs to match the barn walls. And I just like having the black roof a little bit better. When I first built this, this is how I wanted it to look. I wanted the brick walls and like the black roof and everything, but I didn't know how to mod and I didn't have those pieces available, so I just worked with what I had. But now I know how to do it, so Passcord is finally happy with this. So this is how the mod comes. It's an empty house, that way you guys can decorate it however you want to. It's pretty much the same design as my previous build, except for the different textures. Before it was like all wood and now we have some variety. And also I put in the fireplace. I was pretty excited about that. Oh, and I knocked out this wall and put this window here to be like a bar area or something. Whatever you want, you know? And upstairs is the same setup as before. I didn't add any carpets up here because mods like Workshop Rearranged, USO, or Snappy House Kit give you different types of floor covers that you can snap in. So I just put in these wood floors for you guys to be able to do whatever you want. I did retexture the inside of the barn walls with this wood paneling. I think it looks a lot better than the normal barn walls, so that's the only thing that I changed. Through the kitchen is the garage, and don't worry about the tile walls in the kitchen right here. They won't be in the actual mod, I just forgot to remove them for the walkthrough. Now this used to be the back of the house, but what I did was add in the same porch as the front of the house, that way you guys can decide. Like this is the main road up here, so it kind of makes sense for this to be the front. So either way will work, plus I put in some sort of driveway right here, like these road pieces coming up from the road up there weren't here originally. I added these in and had it kind of circle around to the garage, because before it looked pretty bad. I mean look at this. Yes, yeah, it's, it's horrible. So I added in this road and put these rocks around. What, uh, what are you doing? Hey, why are you staring at my house? But yeah, I put these rocks in to make it look a little bit better. I know that's a very steep incline for the driveway, but it's the best that I could do. So you don't need any other mods to download this one. You just need the Wasteland Workshop DLC and also Far Harbor. But I would recommend getting a mod called Move That Workbench because it allows you to move that workbench. Uh, I couldn't move this in the creation kit. So it's either going to stay in the wall or you can download a mod to move it. I can't do it. <laughs> I wanted to play the music during the tour just to mess with you guys, but I can't do it. <laughs> hey, what are you still doing here, man? Stop being weird, okay? Come over to my house and stare at my rocks on them. Uh, so the garage is pretty much the same. I'm like a broken record today. The whole build is pretty much the same. I just redecorated everything. Hopefully a lot better than the last time you saw this. So the garage is pretty much my workshop. And surprisingly, the kitchen is my favorite room. I don't know, that's never happened before, but I, I love it in here. I think it's because of the blue cabinets and like the walls, you know, and the checkered floor, you know, just this whole bar area. I don't know, it's nice to look at, okay? It's eye candy. Wow, I just called my kitchen eye candy. You know, I've turned into a very weird person over the years building this shit. You know, that's why I always played music because I didn't know what to say during the tour. It's like, yeah, hi, look at my living room. 
I put this chair here, and I put that chair there, and there's a table. What do you think? You know? And then I would go, oh, okay, yes, and here is the bathroom. It looks just like all the other bathrooms that I made. It's just a lot smaller. Oh, and look, the toilet paper's facing the wrong direction, which you guys remind me of every video. <laughs> and I love it. You know, like, the stuff that you guys notice in these builds, I would have never noticed that, that the toilet paper is facing the wrong direction. Now I see it, and it drives me nuts. And I know that there's a mod out there that fixes it. You guys have sent it to me, but uh, it's too late, right? Like, I gotta keep it going. You know, it's been almost three years of the toilet paper facing the wrong direction, so it's, it's I can't fix it now. <laughs> okay, so I talked about toilet paper for like three minutes. Um, up here is, is the same kind of idea, you know, but I changed everything around. So like the pool table was over in the corner, but I moved it over here to the middle, which makes way more sense, right? Because it's next to the bar, it has better lighting, and it seems more like the focal point up here. And these chairs used to be in the middle, so I moved them off to the side, which seems like a better place for like a lounge. You know, we're just gonna hang out and play some guitar, play some chess. And with the mod Creative Clutter, we get this like model painting set. Thing. And I thought that looked really cool, so I set up a desk for it right here in the corner. And on the other side of the room is the gym, which I had this over there in my last build. And I feel like it looks a lot better over here because, you know, it's like right when you got off the stairs before, you walked right into the gym, and that didn't make a lot of sense to me. So yeah, I just switched everything around in here, and I feel like the layout is a lot better than before with all this stuff up here. But that does it for the tour. Now in my last video where I showed off the new mod Noir Penthouse Workshop, I started a giveaway for Creation Club credits since it requires a Creation Club mod. I was going to use a program that would randomly select two winners, but I decided to do three instead. Essentially one for each platform, plus a lot of you entered, and I can't say no to you guys. So here are the winners. Congratulations guys. You can message me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, or on Discord, and I will send the credits over. Thanks to everyone who entered and enjoyed the video. I really appreciate it. Dude, why are you still here? Stop being creepy!